Hello, so I decided to make this quick video about the major marathons that are going on right now. First, I thought I was going to put the Berlin marathon video that I haven't done yet with the with this year's Berlin uh, race. But I thought it was better to do, I think I'm gonna do two, two and two races um, in different videos. Maybe just as a news part of, of the video. But right now, so I'm going to do the the results of the Berlin Marathon and the London Marathon that were the past the past two weeks that happened in the past two weeks. Also, we can talk a little, little bit about the Tokyo Marathon that it seems that it's been canceled. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do just elites, but like the massive one uh, was canceled. So this year they decided to do <laughs> basically all the six marathon majors in a row. So the calendar was September 26th was Berlin, October 3rd London. This weekend uh, is Chicago on the 7th of October. Um, then on the 11th, Boston, so the next day. Then Tokyo, that it seems that it won't happen. And then the last one in November is gonna be the New York Marathon. Um, so I had a chance to see the, the Berlin Marathon. I found a stream on YouTube um, and it was cool, it was interesting. I would like to, you know, uh, when you see the course and everything, you feel that you want to do the race, but still I think Berlin is like in my last two or three of the majors that I would like to do. Um, and I saw the race, uh, Bekele ran it. Kenesia Bekele, that is one of the best marathoners ever. And everybody thought that he was going to win, but at the end he fell back. Like in the last few kilometers, he fell back and two people, um, two people surpassed him. So the winners for for the men in the in the Berlin Marathon was Guji Adola with 205.45, then Bedwell Jegon and the, in the first in third place Kenenisa Bekele with 206.47. So the winner ran 205.45, and in women the winner was. Gotti Tom Gebres Lasse. Second place he would Gebre Kidan and third place Calentola. Of this of these six people I had only ever heard of Bekele. Um, but the the woman that won ran it in 220 with 09. With nine seconds. That's that's incredible. So yeah, it was pretty exciting. That's the first major marathon that happened since the pandemic began, like in a massive way because as you remember, uh, they only did like elite races for the other ones. And London happened this year, I'm gonna talk about it right now. Last year it was like just a little circuit, like a one mile circuit or something like that. Now you had the traditional uh, route across London um, and with everyone running, uh, all the people like from all over the world. So London, I never had the chance to, to to watch it, I didn't find streams, I didn't find like highlights or anything. It was pretty weird. Um, and everybody that, that won, I had never heard of them before, honestly. Um, but yeah, London normally is running in April and now it was running in October, obviously. So something interesting that I read was that Sisai Lema was the, the winner from Ethiopia and he ran in 204.01. So it will be fun to see what's the best time of all the of all the majors. So I think right now it's this one. The last one was 205.45 in Berlin and, and this one is 204.01 in London. So I just read that if he had done under 204, he would have won an extra 25,000, maybe pounds probably, pounds or dollars, because he slowed down to, to celebrate before finishing the race. He missed it for one second or two seconds because he did 20401. That's insane. Um, he was the winner. Vincent Kichumba was second place and Mosinet Geremev was the third place with 20441. And for the women, uh, Joycelyn Jepkowski ran 217.43. The G2 Asimero 
2758 and Achete Bekele 21818. And the only one I know from all this list is Brigitte Kosky. I think it was on the Olympics and won one last year, I think. She ended up in fourth place. Um, and also it was the first time that the five women ran on their 219. The first five women. So yeah, that's London. Party was a success and Berlin was a success. This weekend we have Chicago and Boston. So I might do a video next week about it or I might do my marathon video next week. I'm not sure. I think I still have time to do this one. Then my marathon uh, video and then the last races. Um, or maybe I'll wait because if, if Tokyo is not going to happen, I can do the last three races all together later. But anyway, uh, this was just like a little news um, news episode. And I just want to also talk about, about a little contest that I entered. I don't think I have mentioned it about, um, you know, running the majors. I entered a contest in the uh, ma majors official webpage that if you run like a 6K on a certain day, you enter the contest to win and the price is to have an entrance, free entrance to the six majors from 2023 to 2026, I think. Or 2023 to 2025. So yeah, you have to pay for everything except for the race. That's really cool, I hope I win. Uh, they haven't announced anything. But anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and run.